we landed in Australia two weeks ago with the crazy plan to find, buy and convert a van into our tiny home on wheels in only 30 days. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm already in love. <laughs> we bought a van. <laughs> We're gonna live in such a small van. Oh no, this is the one I'm scared about, no! Ah. And right now we are coming up to the halfway point and guys, living in it while trying to convert it in a car park has taken this challenge to a whole new level. And this is currently our storage solution. That we've got our mattress airing on the roof now. I feel so overwhelmed. <laughs> Back door latch has broken. Door is just constantly open. Bloody well raining. It's just rained relentlessly. Yeah, the novelty is wearing off. Ah, I have tapped out I need big my time. <laughs> <laughs> Things you gotta do to live in a van and build it at the same time. So let's go. Good morning guys, welcome back to a random Bunnings in Melbourne. <laughs> yes, we're still living in a car park and still living in a van that's got all of our stuff in it. And all our building materials. It's pretty crazy, but you know, we're still having fun. So that's all that matters, eh? Hopefully today it starts to take shape and we'll see less silver foil and more beautiful wood. Hopefully today your hair will start to take no, shape. No, I need to brush it, I need to have a shower and there are situations that are too much to handle right now. As you can see we didn't actually uh, get our roof slats cladding screwed up. So that's the job for today. We've just been sleeping with them, you know, just trying to make them comfortable it's in the okay, new home. Friends. And this is currently our storage solution in our van. So obviously we just want to get stuck into building again, but it's not just that simple just to buy a van, a converter and away you go. There's a lot of admin around, so we're bringing you guys in on that as well. <laughs> Let's look up turkey. Okay, so what's going to happen is all of our bedding is just going in the middle of the mattress. I'm going to roll it up, and when I roll it up, you can bungee cord it, so I'll try to roll it up as tight as possible. See guys, the perfect van build, it's so easy to pack our bed away. <laughs> Did you not put my coffee? Wow, that's <laughs> right to lose it. Yesterday, fresh cappuccino, sitting on the step. Philly not only knocked it over, Philly sat on it and exploded it all over the floor of the van. Look, who sets their coffee like in the middle of a work site? The, our whole life is a work site. <laughs> I freaking you. You made me drop <laughs> The first thing we have to do to get this van signed over into our name and get it registered for us is we need to actually be registered as a Victorian road user. So we are heading to Vic Roads to get signed up. We thought we could do it online. You need to come in in person. You need to prove who you are. You need to prove address, which is more complicated, obviously, because I was like, how the flip do we prove address? Now, luckily, I had a bank account from 10 years ago, which I've transferred over to our friend's address in Melbourne. So if you're coming here, you're probably gonna have to open an Australian bank account. I went into ANZ, that's the bank. They would not print my statement there. So I have got the online one. Now I have to go to Officeworks, go get it printed there. Once I've got it printed, then we go into Vic Roads and get registered. It's all a friggin' thing. We're just doing a wee tour around Melbourne today. Hopefully, sooner or later, it will actually get to working on the van again yeah right now it's all a lot of admin has to be done let's do it home sweet home kaylee home sweet home we're back home it's good to be home doesn't it <laughs> we're making good friends connections you know it's all about connections <laughs> i mean we're not with the, staff, with the bunning staff <laughs> hey friends oh they're weaving on us did you see them Alright, time to get to work. This van's not gonna convert itself. I feel like we have more stuff in this van than we do in Martha. Alright guys, we're gonna start this one with the bang. You're just gonna have to deal with me in a singlet. Keely has already pre-stained all of the pan cladding, so we're ready to go. These first couple of boards should go up really easily. Uh, as we get over to the other side, we might have to rip a board and stuff like that, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's just get started. All right, you ready to go? Almost. Oh yeah, no, this way, that's what I thought you were saying. So grip the wrong way. Grip the wrong way. I'm about to get changed. Cut the cameras, Keely's about to get her shorts on. 
All right, guys, we're back. We've got our shorts on. Now we look like we live in the Bunnings car park. One thing in our van, Martha, back home, over time with the heat, the wood like shrinks or whatever. So you've got gaps between our pine cladding. So to stop that happening this time, we're just gonna put a few dots of wood glue along the seams so that even as the wood expands, it just keeps them in tight together so we don't get any flopping. In theory. Might not work, but yeah. <laughs> We got one board in. Are we ready to pack up for the day? <laughs> I feel like Great it. Great day is work, Keely. Let's go. Yeah. Let's let's go get some food. Oh guys, it also looks so nice. It looks really nice. I'm glad. I'm glad we went gold screws instead of silver. You know, it's the little things. I'm happy. Let's let's keep going, yeah. Right guys, we're in the last two pieces and it would just be a little bit tight to get the last piece in so we're thinking it would be easier to put two at once so fingers crossed this works out. Yeah, that's it. Now push it in. Mine's not in anywhere. I'll just hold it in situ and let you come and do that. Okay, mine's in. If you've got that in, that's a miracle. Did you get that in? Yeah. Is that in everywhere? That's in everywhere. Shut up. Right, hurry up and screw it in because I'm dying. Are you okay? Hurry up! Oh my word, I'm going to slap you so hard. I need to take off the headrest, you idiot. <laughs> ah, I'm going to let go in about 10 seconds. No, you're not. Feel like seriously? You're not, you're trying to dig deep. I'm already digging deep and I want to cry. I'm getting cramp in my ass. Billy, it's coming out, it's coming out. I'm honestly Don't about to cramp my neck. Go. Why are you holding with your neck? You Just, know you've got arms. Okay, I'm coming out, I'm okay. coming out. You got it? Yes. Oh! Guys, it turns out holding stuff up above my head is the least favorite part of any van build ever. The clad in this roof, I'm like, I've tapped out. <laughs> I'm like, where's my, where's my first mate? I have tapped out big time. I need my pro white holder. Keely. One second, give me one second, one more screw. We've got a roof. We've got a roof. We've got a roof. <laughs> Check this out, dude. Oh. This looks amazing. That was bloody effort, man. So fun. So fun. Good old fun's the word. Guys, you'll realise with everything in this van, probably could have got away with two screws, but put about 50 in. Uh, basically, everything's overkill because we don't ever want to have to fix something in the future. And that's just the way it is. More the merrier, right? Yeah. So whoever buys this van in the future, you'll know this is very well built. <laughs> it's definitely, it's very well held together <laughs> with lots of grip fill and lots of screws. And lots of wood glue. And lots of love. <laughs> oh my word, it looks so nice. I feel like I'm on a boat. All right guys, it's that time again. The sun is going down. Super glad that we got the roof up today. And it looks so good. I'm really happy with that. The last thing on our agenda is to clad the side wall. I don't think we're actually gonna get it fitted tonight, but we're definitely gonna get it cut. So I've just been trialing a few bits um, to try and get like a nice curve. This is how my test piece turned out. Looks nice. Can you do that? No pressure, but don't mess this up. <laughs> wow. Not bad, eh? Well done. It's definitely a curve. So I think we're gonna call it today. We're gonna go to the climbing gym. We're gonna get a shower and burn some energy, you know, because we're just not burning enough calories <laughs> in our daily lives right now. Good morning guys, welcome back to your favourite Bunnings car park. <laughs> it's been like two days since we last seen you because it's just rained relentlessly which means we can't take our stuff out and if we can't take our stuff out we can't build because the van's filled with our stuff. Yeah, the novelty is wearing off. <laughs> it's definitely been very challenging. At least we got Bunnings coffee. It's really not great guys. <laughs> I mean better, better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to work. Good morning, Australia. <laughs> Tough bunch, these Aussies. Tell you that. Yeah, so converting the van 
is challenging enough, but when you're trying to live in it while you're converting it, it definitely has its own set of unique challenges. We tidied it last night, it's such a mess. <laughs> also, we realized that our back door latch has broken. A spring fell out of it and it doesn't shut properly. So our back door is just constantly open. We've got a bungee cord that's, that's holding it shut. We were meant to go to a mechanic today, but he just texted us uh, asking if we can reschedule to next week. That can happen next week, and it means that we have more time today to work on the van. Well, Skipper, what's what's on the cards today? I feel so overwhelmed. <laughs> so, what do you mean? Um, the first step is finish insulating and get the pine cladding on this wall. We didn't tell people that when it was raining, we went to Ikea and got curtains. Oh yeah, we're gonna put up curtains! Oh my goodness, yes, we're gonna put up curtains. And I've, I've, I've measured them and stitched them and I'm excited. They're gonna look so cute. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, these are the curtains, by the way. Look at this gorgeous color. Guys, look at that green and that wood and that white. Is that not just the most like cozy, natural? OMG. Like that, those colors. OMG. Beautiful. OMG. OMG. <laughs> Guys, this has to change. We're trying to stay organized, but it feels impossible in this space, literally. I'm very excited for the day that we build storage. I'm like. very excited for the day we don't live in the bunny's car park. <laughs> the clouds are coming in, so we gotta get ready to put everything back in the van at a second's notice. As suspected, none of that's taking. That's completely <laughs> pointless. What a nice! Aren't you? I like! Guys, some people have said to us that you could have just thrown a mattress in the back of it and be on your way. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> Kaylee's went into Bunnings to grab some double-sided tape. I'm gonna put up the curtains. She's gonna be very happy about that. It's the little touches. Steady as rock. So we used a friend's sewing machine. Look at these, look at this stitching, guys. How pro was that? I mean, it was all done by a sewing machine, but Okay, you just oh, you've put them up. You put up the brackets. Yeah, I did. Not just a pretty face, me. <laughs> Hold that up as straight as you can, yeah. Yeah. Got nice little cute fleece. Are you happy? Yeah, it looks so cute. That's pretty cute. So cute. It is very nice against that wood. Very homey. Curtains. We did something productive. Yeah. The blue skies are gone. It feels like the rain is about to come on, so I'm just going to chuck everything into the front of the van. Just in case. Uh, Guys, look at this fantastic job that Keely's doing. Alright, so we've got all this insulated and vapour barriered what we need to. Uh, we have all the pine cladding already cut and that's going to continue down to here and then we can sort this out after. Okay. How are you feeling? Look how cute our curtains are. <laughs> Uh, slow progress, but progress. Every step's a step, baby. <laughs> Every step's a step. You heard it here. <laughs> All right, team. Time to put up some cladding. Cladding 101. Pilot your holes and then put screws in it. What are you doing? I'm getting really triggered by how messy everything is. Everything's on top of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dead ass. What was that for? <laughs> this is our van, guys, come together with silver foil tape. That's the gold, nice and tight. Beautiful! No, you can't take your hands off. You're okay. Alright, partner. I need longer screws. Be right back. Okay, <laughs> you're still sitting there. Are you bored? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. New and approved longer timber screws. Right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Much a bit better. <laughs> oh, can we go? Screws. Screws. Grease! Grease! Uh -huh. Grease! Guys, if you're liking the look of this, give us a thumbs up in the comments. 
Also, if you're not liking the look of this, give us a thumbs up in the comments. All right, guys, our roof and side is finished. We had to join a little bit here because we ran out of long enough pieces of pine. But it's okay, because we're going to backsplash that for anyway. Yeah, this is where our sink is going. We will show you our design probably pretty soon. I'm feeling my age today. <laughs> I'm feeling 26. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Are you sure, feeling guys. 26? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back into Bunnings for hopefully the last time today. We're only going for lino, so. The issue is that once we get it down, guys, we can't have screws rolling around and scrap pieces of wood. We're going to have to actually look after our floor. Yeah. But it's oh, going to be hard. I am so tired. I'm not. I feel going. destroyed. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get the floor. False alarm. Kayleen wants a piece of wood so she can compare to the floor. So it's not my last time in Bunnings. It doesn't shut. Got it. That one looks off, like bad. Like... Should we see what it is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We got our floor. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. Ah. <laughs> it's my soul trying to leave my body. Stay back in, so get back in. I am really enjoying this. The past few days have just been very trying, but it's fun. It is. We love it, guys. Don't listen to us. We're just in a complaining mood. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Time to empty this van. Luckily, this is a YouTube video. Let's put this floor in. <laughs> yeah. Brush it, brush it. We have realized that the double spray adhesive stuff does not take very well. So we've got some double sided tape and we're just going to spray and stick as we go and just try and smash this onto the ground. But I'm not sure if it's going to stick, just being honest. It is going to stick. Okay, it's definitely going to stick. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bring the good vibes. Optimism. Okay, let's cut this bad boy. What size do we think this van is? That was kind of satisfying. This is what we chose. Sorry, this is what Keely chose. Floor Angel! Beautiful! Oh. We did it! Let's get it in! So now our thought process is take this out, flip it around, put it in the middle. Sky biscuits! Let's see if this worked. Yes. Oh, curry, do curry. We're getting there, guys. This stuff, I'm now going to peel and spray. Peel and spray, peel and spray, peel and spray! How are you doing? I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bloody stressful, but it is what it is. Looking good, though. Slowly but surely. You got this. You got this, come on. We got it. It's bloody well raining. Seriously? <laughs> um, do you want me to help or will I just keep cutting? Yeah, I'll just help. Okay, off for another half an hour. Yeah. Got this in. All right, guys, we're debating whether we should pack up and just go and get food and call it call it a day, or try to cut this in a little bit more. It's just a little bit awkward in the van and like with all of our stuff in. Yeah. Let's maybe um, cut it around the wheel arches. Around the, the wheel tension. arches, and then and then we can get the mattress in and get all of our stuff in the back and then we can drive. Okay. We're still going under the shade of our boot cover. We got this guys. I mean, Keely's got this. Look at this awesome cutting that she's doing. <laughs> what a wonderful job. <laughs> Don't look. Is this an expert job? It's so expert. Like, look at that precision. Precision. <laughs> wow. It will be precise by the end, guys, I swear. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest guys, when Philly hasn't looked, I've stabbed myself four times with this. I was bleeding quite a lot and had to quickly lick it up because I didn't want him to be stressed. Where did you cut yourself? <laughs> On my hand. I Keely. just <laughs> Not too shabby. Okay, this is where we're gonna leave it today. It's not stuck down, but it's cut and all ready to go. It's just very, very cold. The adhesive tape isn't sticking to it, so we're just gonna wait until a day that's a little bit sunnier and it's a, it's a little bit warmer to stick it down. But right now, we're gonna go get some food and then we have to start editing the video. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Guys, this is, this is our life. <laughs> also, the climbing gym where we're going to edit has a sauna, so maybe no editing will get done tonight and we'll just sit in the sauna and just kind of rest our bones. Yeah, hot shower, warm my bones. It's been a day, guys. But it's been a week. We got this. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Put it back up. <laughs> oh dear. Look at the state of this. What is this? What is this? Good morning, guys. Morning. I don't think we've ever shown you how disorganized things are in the mornings when you live in a tiny van and are trying to convert it. Everything's just kind of like stuck to the walls. Our lights are just like stuck up with masking tape. In the middle of the night, they always fall down. <laughs> yeah. But this is just the way it is. Look at the beautiful fairy lights. Okay. Anyway, enough waffling. Enough waffling? <clears throat> and start converting this van. Oh, this is tighter than Martha. <laughs> Keely, your pea's looking a little bit chunky today. <laughs> oh, and a joke in. That's the orange juice. I'll prove it. Oh, wait, that was pea. Joke in. For this van build, it is important that I get across the parameters that we need for this to be a comfortable home. Not only do we need to like sleep in this, but we also need to work full time in this, live full time in this, planning to go off grid into the outback. So there's a lot of planning going into this build. So let me bring you in. So one important thing for the van that we wanted was to create flow. We have decided to keep this back open and you will see as I walk, follow the masking tape, that we have created a flow that will come the whole way through the van to the outside. So one of the most important parts is obviously the bed because guys, you know I freaking love my bed. So we wanted to have effectively a full double, but not quite, and an L shape. So this is gonna be our L shape, which will then get pulled out into this. Lovely double bed. For you to starfish? Yeah. And then lounge during the day. So it's gonna be good. This van is obviously much, much shorter than our other van. So we've been really particular about trying to decide on the height so that we can both sit upright, but that our fridge will fit underneath it and all our storage underneath this seat. I can't wait to lounge, seriously. But anyway. Imagine you had a cup of coffee right now. Oh my word, looking out at the view, that'd be so sick. This section here is going to be part of our kitchen. Here is just going to be an extended bench. We're going to create a lovely curve here, not a big sharp bench, and that will flow into the rest of the kitchen space. So we're going to have one unit here that opens this way, another unit here that opens this way, and then ultimately the bench that is going to be our table, which we haven't figured out how the hell we're going to do that, is going to be able to sit across these two counters and create a full like u-shaped kitchen bench if we want that we can also be outside if we want and i'm just really excited i'm out of breath <laughs> <laughs> this is like the van tour before the van the pre-van tour pre-van tour if you guys have any questions about this kind of design that we're doing or any issues that you think we haven't thought about uh, let us know in the comments below Yes, please. It'll probably be too late, but... <laughs> let us know anyway. Yeah, let us know anyway. It'd be Everything great. will always be changeable. Yeah. But before we do any of it and framing it out and going and buying wood and all the different stuff, we have to finish sticking this floor down, guys. So get that done. And then in the Bunnings, our second home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. love that we've got our matches airing on the roof now. The things you gotta do to live in a van and build it at the same time. 
So now that the floor is drying and it's got all the heavy stuff on it, the next step is to actually start framing out this beautiful design we've told you about. Super happy with the way everything's turned out so far. Does it look so good? No camera trickery involved. <laughs> so if you've been around here for the last couple of weeks, you'll know that we set ourselves a 30 day challenge to find buy and build the van. It took us a week to find the van and now it's a week and a half into the build. So we've got a lot to do and not a lot of time. <laughs> so come back next week to see how far we get on. So far we're on track. But anyway, we'll see you next week. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.